Good afternoon. My name is Andy T. And welcome to beautiful downtown Hilliard. On behalf of the rest of the members of Hilliard City Council and the City Administration, welcome to the mural unveiling. Before I turn it over to Kelly Daniel, the Hilliard Arts Public Arts Commission, and mural artist Curtis Goldstein, I would like to recognize and thank a few people who helped make this beautiful mural a reality. Thank you to my colleagues from Hilliard City Council and with us today are Pete Marsh and Cynthia Vermillion and the members of the Hilliard Public Arts Commission and with us today is Mary Jean Seal, Bill Utley and of course Kelly Daniels who will be speaking in a minute. This is the first public art project completed by the Hilliard Public Arts Commission. The mural represents Hilliard's rich history as a railroad stop in the mid-1800s and it also pays tribute to our agricultural roots. On behalf of City Council, we are incredibly proud of how this mural turned out. Public art brings a lot to the community, such as culture and economic development. This first project sets a high bar for public art projects in the future. I'd also like to recognize Chris Louie from our planning, chairman of our planning and zoning commission, and I saw Tim Coffins here from Destination Hill. Thanks for joining us. So thanks to everybody for joining us today, both in person and virtually. Please join us in welcoming your Public Arts Commission member, Kelly Daniel. Kelly? of uh, that kind of Midwestern feel of where industry meets agriculture. So uh, as far as I know, Hilliard's, Hilliard used to be called Hilliard's Station, which to me sounded like it was not, not much more than a train stop for farmers to deliver or receive goods. And uh, so I, I, for me, it made sense to do a big train and uh, somehow incorporate the patterns and colors of foliage and plants so it has kind of a varied yet industrial feel at the same time, which is kind of a challenge, but I think I think it kind of works. Um, the style itself is an extension of the uh, laser cut mosaics that I have been doing down in Cincinnati about workers and industry down there. So you see a lot, you see a realistic uh, drawing that's been reduced to a line drawing and within the framework of that realistic line drawing I've dropped uh, like uh, floral and plant-like patterns and textures so that even though the train is a train, it's made of iron, it also has this kind of flowery or floral or verde quality to it. And so that, that basically the idea to me is how do I capture the feel of the Midwest? I think that somehow, somehow I wanted to invoke the idea of a quilt and um, of uh, uh, nature and 
technology uh, kind of woven together. Okay. Uh, you can read more about this in thisweeknews.com. Thanks, Curtis.